you for your interest in participating in the DNA Show project. This tutorial will take you through the steps necessary to complete the DNA collection procedure. Before we can process your sample, you will need to fill out the requisite forms, including the DNA Showa consent form. These forms, instructions to fill them out, are included in separate tutorials which may also be found on our website. Okay. The DNA Showa test kit is easy and painless to use. Each kit contains two cheek brushes and two DNA collection tubes. Each of these tubes contains a soapy, clear liquid. This liquid preserves your sample and prevents bacterial growth. It's not harmful if you happen to get it on your skin. You may just rinse it off with cool water. Each individual submitting a sample will need to use both swabs and both tubes. If you have more than one kit or assisting someone else with their kit, please make sure you're fixing the correct barcode to the correct and corresponding tubes and data forms. These numbers will help keep each individual separate and distinct during their processes. To begin the collection, open one swab pouch by peeling the plastic layer from the paper, much like opening a bandage. Hold the brush at the center, and use the ridged end to scrape the inside of your right cheek for 30 seconds. This should feel similar to brushing your teeth only on the inside of your cheek. A firm and thorough scraping yields the best sample. However, it's not necessary to induce pain or bleeding. Once you have swabbed for 30 seconds, you can open one of the collection tubes. This may be done by another person. Use the ridged end of the cheek brush Insert it into the tube, and with your thumb, pressing on the thin end, eject the tip into the soapy liquid. The end of this brush functions as a plunger and will leave the cotton tip in the tube. Close the tube completely. If you're performing this collection alone or without assistance, we'll walk you through the steps now to ensure that you're able to collect your sample by yourself. To, be to begin the collection, open one of the cheek brushes by separating the plastic from the paper layer, much like opening a bandage. Grip the brush at the center. One end is ridged, and this end you will use to brush your cheek. Insert it into your mouth and firmly brush the inside of your right cheek. Continue brushing the inside of your cheek for at least 30 seconds. This should feel similar to brushing your teeth, only on the inside surface of your cheek. A firm and thorough scraping yields the best sample. However, it's not necessary to cause yourself pain, nor induce bleeding. After you swab for 30 seconds, you can open the tube Bend the cap back, it'll stay open. Holding the tube open, insert the ridged end of the collection brush into the liquid, then press firmly with your thumb on the other end. This end acts as a plunger to eject the tip into the liquid. Screw the cap of the tube to seal it tightly. The brush containing your DNA is inside the tube, and the stick can be discarded of. Now, using the other swab, repeat this procedure on the opposite cheek. This may be when you're done swabbing, ensure that both tubes are sealed tightly and add them to the provided plastic bag. If any liquid has spilled out of the tube during the swabbing, just wipe it off. Ensure that it's dry before it goes into the plastic bag. Seal the bag tightly and you can add this to the box provided and ship it back. If you still have not done so, please proceed to the forms tutorial and this will show you how to fill out the collection forms. Additionally, we need to remind you we can't process any DNA sample without a DNA show a consent form. This must be signed by you and it's our responsibility to make sure you understand every item contained in this consent form. Please feel free to contact us with any questions you may have.